The Earth is a place of wonder, fear and mystery. Nature is just as fascinating as it is terrifying, yet it can create life and protect or entirely demolish everything we have built. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three nature-based discoveries. A dam built in the Amazon created thousands of forest islands. The Balbina Dam was built in the 1980s in the depths of the Amazon. It was one of many dams built throughout the Amazon basin during that time. These dams resulted in luscious verdant patches of woodland growing around them. However, recently experts found that these patches of forest can no longer support the life that lives within them. The dams created tiny forests which have delicate but beautiful ecosystems. The Balbina Dam formed one of the biggest South American water reservoirs and the rainforest surrounding it has been relatively undisturbed by humans, aside from the construction of the dams. Overall, more than 3,500 woodland islands have been created directly because of the giant reservoir where hills and grassland once were. Rainforest ecologists keep track of the happenings in the Amazon and venture out to research and test the geological fauna often. Many chose to use the small forest patches of land as natural research labs because they are within contained terrain and in observable areas. Ecologists were curious about what happens to ecosystems as the land the creatures and nature reside in is forcibly decreased. Loss of habitat is becoming a serious problem on our planet and is the leading cause of the struggle of maintaining biodiversity in nature. Many places are losing vital biodiverse creatures as humans take more and more land for themselves and leave less space for animals to thrive. Whilst clean renewable energy is crucial for our future, the careless placement of countless hydroelectric dams greatly disturbs these environments. The theory posed by ecologists was that species are expected to fade into extinction at an increased rate the smaller that an environment becomes because it gets too small and limited to sustain high numbers of different species. The Balbina Dam forests provided perfect insight into the reality of the situation. Researchers have carefully kept track of which species remain or disappear from the Balbina Reservoir. The ecologists primarily studied 22 separate forest islands. All of these were of differing sizes. 608 species of lizards, mammals, both big and small, birds, bees, trees, insects and frogs were recorded as having thrived in the area prior to the building of the Balbina. The research revealed that the larger forest islands maintained the majority of their biodiversity with little loss, yet the smaller islands suffered greatly. Only species that are able to adapt particularly fast to new environments successfully, such as rodents and armadillos, survived for about 30 years, but then too proceeded to diminish in numbers. Larger animals disappeared more quickly than small and medium-sized animals because the islands were too small to sustain them effectively. Simply put, there was just no room. Alongside large species of animals, various insects, and plants likewise succumbed to the issue of not having enough land to inhabit. 95% of these rainforest islands do not even reach a square kilometre in size, making them truly minuscule. There is extremely limited biodiversity in these regions as a result. The Amazon rainforest is renowned for its vast nature and the many critters of all shapes and sizes which inhabit it, yet ecologists who explored these islands were disappointed if not horrified by the lack of specific species found on them providing that the Amazon's biodiversity is slowly being eradicated. Many unique creatures no longer exist thanks to the flooded terrain as a result of the dam which formed the islands in the first place. Ecologists plead for hydroelectric dam engineers to focus on building in areas that will not flood masses of forest land that will create even more tiny islands to preserve the biodiversity in the Amazon. The biggest earthquake in history nearly destroyed a civilization. Researchers have uncovered the most intense earthquake in the history of our planet. Over 3,800 years ago, in what is now northern Chile, an earthquake managed to hit a magnitude of 9.5. 
For reference, a magnitude 7 earthquake is serious and causes mass destruction, whereas a magnitude 8 earthquake is seen as catastrophic. Therefore, the notion that this earthquake reached a magnitude of 9.5 is terrifying to envision. The colossal earthquake moved enormous boulders further inland and was responsible for fearsome tsunamis forming all across the Pacific Ocean. Earthquakes in the area are incredibly unusual. There exists a minor gap in the seismic plates of South America and Nazca. This gap reveals earthquake-prone areas, yet for earthquakes to occur within these gaps is extremely rare. Since the year 1900 alone, earthquakes worldwide have taken an estimated 700,000 lives and caused billions upon billions of dollars in damages, due to both initial earthquakes as well as tsunamis that often follow them. In modernity, we have become accustomed to dealing with them in our own way, but cultures of the past had their own ideas of coping with catastrophic events. Earthquakes in Chile only happen roughly between 250 and 10,000 years, and the last of which occurred in 1877. That earthquake was measured at a devastating 8.8 .8 magnitude. Dr. Diego Salazar of the University of Chile was the leading researcher for this project, which was difficult to analyze and track due to the limited sources of looking back into the past of our planet's geology. However, the team traced proof of ancient tsunamis in deposits of the Atacama, the driest desert on Earth. Scientists located eight 3,800-year-old sites of importance containing proof of the earthquake. One structure was toppled towards the sea, pushed by a tsunami upon the water's return to the ocean, whereas marine sediments were located on most others, even far inland. Scientists believe the tsunami brought them there. Furthermore, many rocks have proof of having been destroyed by the force of water. In 1960, the Valdivia earthquake hit the same level of magnitude, but the ancient earthquake was found to have lasted significantly longer. Evidence from the tsunamis that followed the massive earthquakes could be found in Japan, Russia, Australia and New Zealand, as well as several other countries. Some boulders traversed more than a kilometre inland from the shores. People lived on the coast of Atacama for roughly 12,000 years. The tragedy of the earthquake nearly completely shattered their civilization. Villages were abandoned and countless lives were lost. It's believed that three quarters of village populations were trampled by the tsunamis and no one dared return to the coasts of Chile for thousands of years. The seafloor is eroding faster than scientists thought. Oceanographer Kimberly Yates made a shocking discovery after taking a trip to research the coral reef of the beaches of the Florida Keys. Yates found that the continent's seafloor is eroding at a concerningly fast rate. Yates swam in the water to investigate and analyze the coral reef and coast, looking for somewhere to set up her equipment. Once the ideal spot was found, however, the captain would not bring the boat to her because the water was too shallow. According to the man's nautical chart, the water was only two foot deep, only for Yates to bring him to the spot and reveal that it was actually 12 feet deep. Since the chart was made, the seabed has deepened by a whole 10 feet. Yates spent the next two years traveling from reef to reef in the Florida Keys to investigate the matter further, going as far as the Virgin Islands and Maui in Hawaii. They searched five reefs, and every single one was found to have eroded greatly with water levels rising at alarming speeds. As this phenomenon increases, coastal communities are put under more and more risk of horrendous floods and coastal erosion threats. Yates claims, at current rates, by the year 2100, seafloor erosion could increase water depths by two to eight times more than what has been predicted from sea level rise alone. Yates and her team studied nautical charts from the 1800s and compared them over the passing decades. Three-fourths of coastal habitats revealed severe seafloor erosion. On Maui's coasts alone, 81 million cubic meters of volume were lost due to the erosion. If the seafloor continues to lose its volume, it will increase the pace and impact of global warming and worsen an already terrible situation we have found ourselves in. 
the eroding seafloor could lead to more disastrous storms and weather as a side effect as well. Coral is also growing back far too slowly to protect the coastlines from the treacherous waves. According to Yates, corals and a shallow seafloor provide a barrier to the coastline against things like storms, waves and tsunamis. When you're starting on the beach, you can see surfers on big waves, but by the time they actually reach the sand, the waves are much smaller. That's because coral structures and a shallow floor cause the waves to break up. But if the water gets deeper and coral erodes away, the waves can make it to the shoreline and cause erosion. But what do you make of these mind-boggling discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.